So, Mel, it's been a few days now. Uh, big result away to Hartley Port. What are the, the key takeaways from it now? It's been a few days. Uh, well, the draw for one. We've got a home tie, which I think is the first time we've drawn at home in the cup this season, either cup, FA Cup or FA Trophy. So that's a great draw for us. Um, the, it was a good trip. It was a good trip. Lads played very, very well. Um, Hartlepool are a good side. You know, they've, they've got good players, league above us. Um, and it was a very, very competitive game. And um, Kane has the penalty shootout. And luckily we prepare for these things. And uh, we, do, we do our homework on penalty shootouts. So lads practice penalties. And uh, we got our just rewards. Absolutely. And you mentioned the draw already. Macclesfield, uh, you know, famous owner. Uh, some EFL pedigree in there as well. It's uh, It should be an exciting time for Hampton and Richmond. Oh, yeah, and a very good game. I mean, they're a good team. I've already spoken to a couple of players who played against me in the last round, and um, they spoke very highly of them. So it's going to be a very, very difficult game for us. It should be a very exciting game. Um, they're certainly a good team. So um, we're a good team and look forward to hosting them and uh, having a good crowd on, uh, on a cup day and, um, fingers crossed, uh, the last eight. That's, of course, all the way in February, so a few games between now and then. Uh, starting this Saturday, hosting uh, Eastbourne Borough, who've got themselves a new manager. Yeah, I mean, obviously we're disappointed that Tuesday was called off. Um, the, throw, you know, the weather hasn't helped anybody, the frozen pitches. Um, fingers crossed for this Saturday it goes ahead. Uh, Eastbourne are a good team, you know, full, full-time team, um, very committed. Um, the last two games since since new managers gone in, you know, you can see see improvements in them as a, as a structure as a team. So again, it'd be a very very competitive game. I remember it's a year ago that I came in here when they were on a bit of a bad run. Um, it takes time, but you you know each game you see improvements, or, or that's what you hope. And certainly with what they're doing there, I can see improvement. They've signed some good players. Uh, Mustiara, I know obviously is a very very good player, very good centre half. So I'm expecting a really, really tough game, um, as they all are, but uh, specifically with a club under a new manager and in just sort of getting them moving and playing the way he wants them to. Does, does it make it that bit harder preparing for a game when a club has changed manager recently? Yeah, totally, because you, you look at, you have to look really at the last game or two games that he's been in charge. The first game is always very difficult because he had little time to bring his own players in or, or set anything up. Um, again, it's a bit easier for a full-time manager because you obviously get your five days rather than the sort of three or four hours that we get a week. Um, but ultimately, you have to just look at those two games and obviously a little bit of history of the previous clubs he's managed and that type of thing to have a look and get a feel for, for how they like to play. So we, we've done our due diligence. Um, we've just been through it again this morning. So we're as prepared as we can be. Uh, just a, a quick word on, on some player activity. Obviously, Don Revan's loan came to an end recently, but thankfully we've, we've signed Don Revan uh, permanently from Barnet. Yeah, well, Don's a player that um, I met when I was at Barnet. Um, he's a very, very talented lad who's been very unfortunate with injuries. Um, and he wasn't getting as many minutes as he needed at Barnet. He's a young player. He's you know early 20s, needs to be playing games regularly now. Um, he's athletic. He's quick. He's good on the ball, he's got a great attitude, his personality fits what we're trying to do and develop here. Um, and so it was for me it was a no-brainer and it was getting him in for 28 days. So more he could come and have a look at us and see, you know, are you prepared to drop a division? Is this something you think we can help you with your career? Will this environment help you? And uh, thankfully he thought it would. So to get it over the line was great. I mean, I must thank the board and the, the club for, for supporting us in, in this transfer. Um, they've been great and um, he's a real asset to us not just for this season, but going forward.